Quantifying the content of a game in its trailer might seem like the thing to do, but most of the time, it's really not doing you any favors. Hi, I'm Derek Liu, and this is Video Game Trailer Academy, a series of videos to help you make better game trailers. When I say quantifying content, I'm referring to the title cards and narration in game trailers which say things like 50 levels, 16 bosses, 4 playable characters, or 40 hours of gameplay. I think people assume this method of calling out features and their quantity is a best practice because, historically, so many game trailers have done this. The problem is, it's not really saying much about the game and what makes it unique. If anything, it makes the game sound more generic by using a selling point already so widely used. Imagine a new restaurant opened in your neighborhood, and it advertised itself as 500 menu items. Does that make you interested? If you don't know what the cuisine is like, probably not. More to the point, if it's a game we've never played before, we can't really know what any of those numbers mean, let alone be driven to purchase. Is 50 levels a lot? What if each level is 3 seconds long? What if each level is 1 hour long? What if each level is 1 hour long, but they all feel the same? Are the 4 playable characters unique in any way? BattleBlock Theater has hundreds of playable characters, but functionally they have no differences. Even if the beginning of the trailer does a decently good job of showing off the game's unique qualities, we can't really care about the quantity of the content. Don't be in a rush to tell me there's a lot of something until you know I'm interested in it at all. When I look at my favorite game trailers, virtually none of them list out features or quantify them, but all of them evoke the experience or vibe of the game. This makes the most sense to me because why use film language to communicate something you can show in a list of bullet points on the store page? I think this practice stems from games being thought of like products, like a car or a phone. But even those advertisements don't list out features, and even if they do, it's because we're already familiar with its basic functions. Games are amazing because of the variety of experiences they create. Even subtle differences between two games can make them feel entirely different. The quantities of their content tend to be their least distinguishing factors. The only time I've seen numbers help differentiate a game is when they reach unthinkably large numbers like No Man's Sky's 18 quintillion worlds. There is a time and place for listing quantities, and that's in trailers for DLC or game updates. In these cases, it makes total sense to list the number of new maps or skins or weapons because you're talking to an audience who's already bought in and understands how much those numbers will affect their experience. To recap, unless it's for DLC or updates, avoid using your trailer to list the amount of content in your game. Or to phrase it another way, don't try to sell me 50 burgers until I know what's in it. By the way, I send out game trailer making tips like this every Sunday via my mailing list, so if you'd like more, please subscribe at GameTrailerTips.com. Thanks as always to my top Patreon supporters who help me make more videos like this. Links to all the trailers in this video are located down below.